been, by the way. Is you can do tense, build, slow. And I remember watching House of the Devil going, okay, you've got to deliver for me at the end of this. And then all I got was uh, some, some ideas Nick from The Shining and a, a ghost dressed in a bride's dress, which is just like from every hokey kind of haunted house movie since the dawn of time. And then it just ended. I was just like, really? That's it? It made me exclaim, shit it off and fucking hell at two separate occasions. No, seriously. I mean, I, I, I know... Did you have a wank? What? Did it make you want to have a wank? <laughs> no. Sorry, what? I was saying before how often you, you comment that it you ma- actually wanted to get up and start having a wank. Oh, well, that's not very nice. <laughs> You're the one who's your catchphrase. <laughs> that's a good point. Is it his catchphrase? Almost. It is now, yeah. What? Have a wank? It made me want a wank. It made me want a wank. Uh, you liked it. I This is the innkeepers, by the, the way. The innkeepers. I absolutely adored it. I don't this get all these, nice. like, peeing off. It's... It has, like the House of the Devil, it's fear with anticipation, and it completely just took me, and I was terrified through it. First time I've actually been scared this entire festival, and the, I watched the final act with half-closed eyes, I was that scared. Um, I, it really effective, I thought, great soundtrack. And just a great, I think there's a simple girl. Sarah Paxton, yeah, yeah she, she was very good. Very good. Brilliant. The great quirky thing to her. I thought her chemistry with the guy, um, I don't know what her name is, the guy who played Luke was great. And uh, just, I mean, everything about it, I just fucking adored. I mean, I, I will say. Um, Sam Raimi once described Drive Me to Hell as a spooker blast, and that's kind of what I thought The Innkeepers was. Like, the comedy stuff I thought was actually quite funny. I mean, not not as funny as I think a lot of people in the audience were trying to make us think it was. I think there was a lot, a lot of sycophantic stuff going on, but, but... When it tried the old-fashioned scares, I thought they worked. There was a couple of times that I really reacted. And to be honest, I mean, like, it was one of the first times all weekend where I haven't just sat there bored. But I know Noel was bored. I, the, the, my, my, overall, my overall thing about that movie was that it was boring. But the, the other main thing that I've got was, as much as I liked the build of tension, it never delivered on what it was building up to. Everything just went... But like I, I, I don't know, I'll spoil it if I say that, but there was a lot of um, silence and what's happening, what's happening, what's happening. Then what happened would just be a cliche, like a, a, a ghost woman in a dress. Or, uh, it just it wasn't it wasn't very original. It was cliche. It was boring. But and, I thought I thought and, and what you said about the humour as well. People were like there was a feeling of sort of like. People wanted it to be so good that they would. I mean, really, like when she fell off the, the chair with, with the ghost sheet and popped up with the ghost sheet on and stuff like that. That wasn't that funny. That really wasn't that funny at all. And there were moments of sort of. I don't know. It felt like people wanted to like it so much that they were just overcompensating with the laughter and. and Which uh, is what a certain film I watched at about nine o'clock last night, where apparently the director is not very happy with me. <laughs> um, might have had that happen a bit as well. That's all I'm saying, because I think apparently I've gotten myself in enough trouble as it is. But, um, yeah, no, I, I mean, the thing is, the cl- I, I thought the scares, yes, it was the classic, the, well, the hokey slash classic go- ghost girl in a bride outfit kind of thing, but I quite liked that. I liked the... Spoiler warning for the innkeepers, so stop now, you've already got our thoughts, I think, but... I like the fact that it could have just been her believing the hype and getting a bit scared and these like classic images in her head were just like playing out and she scared herself to death basically. I, I, that was the interpretation I took yeah, and I, I, I thought that it got away with the kind of classical notion by doing that but the, 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 the body rising up in, in bed with her um, was the one that made me say shit it off and um, it got me a treat and uh, that bit that scared me when I saw it in Halloween <laughs> divisive very very <laughs> divisive the innkeepers but it's probably it's probably is my highlight of the festival so far which may say that the festival's been a bit weak but we've got kill list tonight and I'm going to have a fucking wank over it hey.